This is Miss Andrea and Bianca from the Hickory Corner Branch of the Mercer County Library System. And today we're going to tell you all about sharks. Bianca is quite the shark fan. Look at her shirt. She was even a shark for Halloween one year. We got this cool shark backpack. And she's got some shark friends she wants to show you before we start telling you some really cool shark facts. Well, this is Bianca. She's the same name as me. This is Hank. He's a hammerhead shark, right? This is Clark. Clark the shark. Cool Chomp. name. Chomp. Lucy. Lucy. And Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Do, 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 baby Shark. Do, 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 do. You guys know that song, right? Well, we thought it would be really fun to tell you some shark facts that we learned in these books. So this book is called Discovery Kids. Sharks get up close to the ocean's most feared Hunters. And then we've got this one called Chomp, a book about sharks by Melvin Berger. And then this book called Shark Attack by Gail Touchman. And we got some cool facts out of those books and we want to share those with you today. So our first fact this is about how long sharks have been around. Do you remember how long? Um, Before what? The dinosaur. Four hundred million years over 400 million years sharks have been swimming in our ocean so that's our first fact they've been around a long time our second fact is that sharks even swim in their sleep in their sleep so let's read a little bit about that okay did you know that most sharks swim all the time. They swim day and night. They even swim when sleeping. Swimming and breathing go together. If sharks stop swimming, they stop breathing and they die. Sharks breathe oxygen. We breathe oxygen too. Our oxygen comes from the air. Sharks get their oxygen from the water. Most sharks swim with open mouths. Water enters. It flows over their gills. Yeah. You may have heard that term before, gills. Fish have gills, sharks are fish. The gills take the oxygen from the water. Yeah. Then the water flows out. Oh, are you showing the gills? Those little lines on the shark there, those yeah. are the gills. Yeah, even this shark has gills. Swimming also keeps sharks afloat. If they stop swimming, they sink to the bottom. Okay, sharks also have something called an oily liver and that also helps them float. Miss Michelle is going to do a video with an experiment about how sharks float and it involves that oily liver. So make sure to check out Miss Michelle's video on that, okay? So another fun fact is that sharks' skeletons are made out of something called what? What's it called? Cartilage. Cartilage, that's right. I'm a shark. The oh, you're twisting the cart. She's twisting the cartilage in her ear. A shark twists and turns as it, it swims. Figures. That's because it doesn't have a bone in its body. A shark skeleton is made of cartilage, and cartilage bends easily. Your nose has cartilage. Can you bend your nose? The end of your nose? Mm -hmm. I'm going to. And Bianca's twisting her ear, okay? See how easily it can twist and turn? Okay, that's because it's made out of cartilage. Hey. Okay, another fun fact is about all the teeth a shark has. So let's see, look at this picture. They have thousands of teeth. Hundreds or even thousands, depending on the type of shark, okay? They are not in one row like our teeth. They're in many rows, sometimes up to 20 rows. Okay, do you want to show them your shark tooth? My shark tooth. Okay, we got this from a person who went on a fossil dig and brought this back. Can you show, I'm going to show it real close to the camera. Okay. There it is, right there, there's the jump, shark jump, jump. tooth. Now we think this is from a prehistoric shark. Miss Chrissy has an entire shark jaw that she's gonna show you in another shark video. Yes, we're gonna do yeah, all these shark videos. Yeah, there's one at the aquarium. Oh yes, if you go to the aquarium, you can see the shark jaw from a prehistoric shark called the what? Megalodon. A megalodon, we love seeing that megalodon at the aquarium. Oh. Okay, so the types of teeth that a shark has depends on its diet. 
So if a shark has really pointy teeth, it's usually, it's, it's for tearing the flesh of other animals, okay? And so um, what happens is the reason we have these shark teeth, oh, look at those shark teeth. The reason we have this shark tooth is because the sharks don't have roots that keep their teeth in place like human teeth. So they fall out really easily and then we find them at the bottom of the oceans or in a dried up, in this case, a dried up riverbed. But then what happens is the teeth from behind just move forward to take the place of the tooth that fell out, okay? So now we're gonna learn about shark babies, that baby shark again. What is, what is the name of a baby shark? What's it called? A pup. A baby shark is called a pup. It's and an empty egg case that a pup have born out of is called a mermaid purse. That's right. So sharks I are. I got to touch one at the aquarium. Yes, Bianca got to got to touch a mermaid's purse. Let's tell them a little bit about that. So sh baby sharks are hatched from eggs. Some sharks grow the eggs. The mommy sharks grow the eggs in their bellies. The eggs hatch inside the mom, and then the mom gives birth to the live pup. But in other cases, the mom lays the eggs in an egg case and then the pup hatches out of that egg case and then the empty egg case sometimes washes up on the shore and people find them and it's called a mermaid's purse and Bianca got to touch one of those at the aquarium and Miss Chrissy has the egg case from a horn shark that she's going to show you in her video okay so we would like to share another fact with you Sharks have six senses. How many senses do humans have? How many? Five. Five. One hand. Five. <laughs> five senses, okay? Sharks have those same five senses as us, but they have an extra sense, okay? So sharks, here we go. Let's show you that. All about their senses there. Okay, so sharks can hear low sounds that humans can't hear. They can, their taste buds line their whole mouth and into their throat. Okay, we have our taste buds on our tongue, but they have them in their mouth and their throat. Sharks have a really good sense of smell and it's used to smell their prey. Their nose isn't for breathing like ours or smelling, it's for smelling their prey. Okay, and some sharks can smell blood up to three miles away. Their sight, their sense of sight, in this book. I'll show you the picture. The sense of, their sense of sight is much better in low light than ours, so they can see better in the low light or in the dark, okay? And their sense of touch, they can actually feel vibrations before they touch something, and that's another way that they can sense their prey. Their extra sense is called electroreception, okay? It's the ability... Can you help me with it's the ability to sense electricity from other animals. And again, it's another way. There's special little pores in their body that helps them sense that electricity and it's another way to find prey. Okay, so sharks have those six senses. The last fact that we wanna share with you is that there are over 450 different kinds of sharks, different species that live in oceans all over the world. They come in all different shapes and sizes, but I asked Bianca to pick her favorite five sharks and we're going to share them with you now. Okay. Okay. Let's read the first book. one, let's open it up to this page. What is this shark called? Um, basking shark. The basking shark. Okay. So this shark is really big and the way that it eats is it opens its mouth and it's got something called gill rakers. Can I tell them about it? Sure, what would you like to tell them? Well, they have these little gill rakers. They look like little bones in their mouth. And what do they eat? Um, plankton. Plankton, all right, and let's go to our next- That would be a yucky meal to a human. Let's go to our next one. This is your favorite one, what's this? Great white. The great white shark. This is Clark. She's the great white. He's a great white shark too. These are, they're, they're huge and they're aggressive hunters, okay? Hey, and they are. Um, I can put my mouth. 
And they are typically, when you think of shark, this is a lot of the shark, this is a lot of times the shark that people think of when they, when they think of sharks. It's like the first one that comes to their mind. Okay, what about this cool looking guy? What kind of shark is that? The hammerhead. The I have one The hammerhead right. shark. This shark is really unique because of the shape of its head. It's got its eyes on the side of its head. It's got that bar that goes across there. Yeah, that's its whole head. Okay, what about... Whoa, that was a big... This a one, big. the short, what, short... Thin mako. That has a big eye. This is the short, thin mako. Okay, this Whoa. shark is one of the fastest sharks in the ocean, and it can jump really high. Okay, and the last shark that we want to share with you is this little guy. Now, he's a much smaller shark. Do you see that? Cookie cutter shark. It's called the cookie cutter shark because it takes a little cookie cutter size bite out of its prey with those teeth right there. So, we hope that you learned some fun facts about sharks today. And the and last one that we're going to talk about is the megalodon. Oh, that's right. The megalodon. Now, is is the megalodon still around today? Nope. No, it's a prehistoric shark. It's an ancient shark. It's like an ancestor to all it lived of in these the, sharks. I think it lived in the world of the dinosaurs. Okay. So, so that shark is extinct. Well, we really hope that you learned some fun things about sharks today. If you want to learn more about sharks, we've got shark books available in the library when we're open. But when we're not open, what you can do is go to our virtual branch, go to mcl.org, go to our virtual branch, go to our Hoopla database, and we type in sharks. We've got tons of eBooks about sharks so you can learn even more Fun facts about sharks, and don't forget to watch Miss Chrissy and Miss Michelle's videos about sharks, too. All right, we're going to say goodbye to our friends for now. Do, do, do. Bye, friends. Bye, friends.